I'm going to present a work to determine anisotropy of cosmic rays in the local interstellar medium. Here is the combined map of Tibet and the ice cube at 5 TeV and 20 TeV. And the pattern of cosmic ray anisotropy looks complicated. If you take this measurement and uh, determine the, spectra the spectral power of anisotropy in terms of the L number, the spectrum look like this. Most of the anisotropy is in dipole and quadrupole, and maybe, and then there is a still substantial amount of anisotropy at the median scale from L equal to three to L equal to 10. And beyond that, the anisotropy level is very close to the noise level. Heliosphere may affect the anisotropy of TV cost. We can use Louvier theorem to map cosmic ray anisotropy along the trajectory of cosmic rays through the heliosphere. The trajectory can be calculated with the magnetic field and the electric field from the MHD heliospheric model. The cosmic ray distribution in the local interstellar medium can be expressed in this perturbative form, which indicates we have uh, Compton getting anisotropy, gradient a B grade anisotropy, and the pitch angle anisotropy unidirectional and bidirectional. The total anisotropy is a combination of these four types of anisotropies. This is a picture of magnetic field distribution within 10,000 AU from the sun. This is a distribution in hydrogen deflection plane or the plane contain interstellar magnetic field and the interstellar velocity vectors and the plane perpendicular to hydrogen deflection plane. The ball wave is here and the heliopause is this. And the heliopause is highly elongated along the interstellar magnetic field direction. We tried many, we tried many um, models of the heliosphere and all of them produce roughly consistent result of cosmic ray anisotropy. Only a few uh, better parameters can give a more precise fit. Here is the anisotropy of cosmic rays originally in the local interstellar medium. This pattern, it is almost a dipole anti-parallel along the magnetic field direction. And this interstellar map, um, anisotropy map, after distorted by uh, the heliosphere magnetic field, and the anisotropy would look like this pattern. And the part of the stars in there, you see there are large fluctuations of anisotropies. And these are the region where the cosmic rays, uh, uh, when cosmic rays travel through the heliosphere, the trajectories is highly, highly uh, distorted. And then the trajectory almost behind, behave a chaotic behavior rendering a very large variation of anisotropy. The measurement, of course, take a long-term average as well as an angular average. If we smooth the map, smooth this map to this, we produce this map of anisotropy that would be uh, expected by the observations. Compare this uh, the, with the actual observations by Tibet as our experiments, we found the major features of what is observed has been reproduced by the, uh, by the uh, calculations. And you can see 
the uh, deficit of cosmic rays in the nose region and the enhanced the, uh, cosmic ray intensity in the tail region and the many of the, the boundaries of the uh, deficit cosmic enhancements, etc., are all revealed. We have obtained the cosmic ray distribution as function of cosmic ray pitch-angle cosine in the local interstellar medium after mapped to the angles to the local interstellar medium. After the correction of cosmic ray intensity by the uh, competent getting effect and the density gradient effect, we obtain the pitch-angle distribution of cosmic rays in the local interstellar medium. It is a, a most linearly proportional to the cosine pitch angle, indicating it is a, a, an isotropic scattering by the local interstellar magnetic turbulence. The scattering by affinic turbulence with a common local spectrum would produce a distribution followed by the blue line and this is not consistent with what is observed. Here is a spectrum of anisotropy. On the left, it's partial sky pseudo anisotropy spectrum. On the left is a full sky anisotropy map. Anisotropy of local in, in the local interstellar median is the blue curve mainly contain a dipole and a very small quadrupole. The red curve is the anisotropy after distortion by the heliosphere. The dots are the data. And as you can see, the models after heliospheric distortion can produce observed anisotropy up to L equal to 12 and beyond the 13, there is the residual anisotropy between the model and the observation, indicating there might be a contribution of anisotropy on small scale from the local interstellar magnetic field turbulence. Anisotropy of cosmic rays in the local interstellar medium will look like this, almost a dipole. And to produce this map, and we also need a density gradient and perpendicular to the magnetic field. This density gradient points towards roughly Vela. The density gradient in the map in, uh, in the, uh, in the um, galactic plane looks like this, superposed on the interstellar median dust density and the, the, the solar system is near the edge of what is called a local bubble where the density is low and the cosmic ray density gradient pointing towards local bubble and very close to Vela direction. In the plane perpendicular to the galactic plane and the magnet field is off 50 degrees to the north. And we see the cosmic ray fall uh, in uh, anisotropy is along the magnetic field towards the northern ha galactic halo. And this is, uh, of course, the, it is, uh, the direction is very close, but it's not exact to the direction of uh, we call the local chim chimney where uh, hot gas are going out of the galactic disk. We obtain the cosmic ray anisotropies. Um, the pitch angle anisotropy is this big, 0.16%. And the second anisotropy is much smaller. We can also obtain the cosmic ray density gradient it is roughly 1.7% per parsec. With this parameter, 
we can calculate what is the cosmic ray streaming. And uh, to, this is the ratio of cosmic ray streaming over cosmic ray intensity. And this is along the magnetic field. And we found that cosmic ray streaming is about 1500 kilometers per second. If we assume cosmic ray diffusion coefficient of this big, and we would obtain the cosmic ray density gradient parallel to the interstellar magnetic field of this, or it is 0.045% per parsec, much smaller than the perpendicular gradient. In the, uh, the, in the parallel direction, we also found the, the second order uh, anisotropy is small, means cosmic rays are not mirrored, or the cosmic uh, magnetic field in the local interstellar medium is quite uniform in the mean field, within the mean field phase of these cosmic rays. In the perpendicular direction, the gradient is this big, 1.7% per parsec. And if the uh, perpendicular diffusion coefficient is smaller than the, the uh, bomb limit, and we found that the perpendicular streaming uh, uh, flow over the depth of the intensity is uh, only, 20, the ratio is only 20 kilometers second. So most of cosmic ray streaming is along the parallel direction. However, most of the density gradient is perpendicular to the uh, magnetic field. That indicates cosmic ray transports in the local interstellar medium is dominated by parallel diffusion, while the density gradient is perpendicular to, uh, to the magnetic field. This requires a very anisotropic diffusion, co ten a diffusion coefficient tensor in the local interstellar medium. So here is a summary. Cosmic ray anisotropy in the local interstellar medium is almost a pure dipole opposite to the magnetic field and the, the indicates cosmic rays are transported mainly parallel along the magnetic field direction into the northern galactic halo. Pitch angle anisotropy of TV cosmic rays is linear, it depend on pitch angle cosine, indicating that cosmic rays are scattered by an isotropic pitch angle spectrum process in the local interstellar medium. Cosmic ray density gradient is perpendicular to the local interstellar magnetic field. It is quite large and towards uh, uh, indicate that the local, there is a local uh, source and the direction is con roughly consistent with the, source, with the source in the local interstellar medium, uh, in the local bubble, possibly Vela supernova. The, the cosmic ray uh, anisotropy can also uh, put constraints on, uh, on local interstellar uh, magnetic field and the hydrogen ionization ratio. The TV cosmic rays can also find that contain features of the heliosphere, such as hydrogen deflection plane, the plane perpendicular to the local interstellar magnetic field, and the bow wave of the heliosphere. Heliosphere magnetic field can distort local interstellar dipole anisotropy to form many median scale features between L2 to 12 in the anisotropy map. Small scale anisotropy, a large L greater than 13 may be of interstellar origin. A part of sky, uh, of, the, of, of the sky viewed from us can be, of the anisotropy can be completely smeared by the chaotic trajectory of cosmic rays through the heliosphere. Thank you.